15-year-old genius Critton Nithyanandam of Britain has developed a potential test for Alzheimer's disease, which could allow a condition to be diagnosed 10 years before the first symptoms appear. How cool is this? Well, currently Alzheimer's, they can be detecting that uh, through a series of cognitive tests by looking at the brain only once the disease has been developed within a person. This is revolutionary, Jose. Look, if this takes off, he's developed this Trojan horse, which is an antibody. It penetrates that blood-brain barrier. It's able to attach itself to the toxic proton in the brain, you know, in theory, because these are lab tests, and essentially, you know, stop the disease from progressing. This is revolutionary. It's amazing. I mean, the, the, the blood Blood brain barrier is a curse and a miracle in all of these uh, degenerative diseases because at the same time it's what prevents detecting them with most of the of, of the standard test and is what protects the brain from getting infected of not, you know common common infections. So it's very very important that this guy figure out a way to penetrate that barrier without exposing the brain and at the same time. What I read is that it is one of the really, really cool parts of this story is that actually they attach a bioluminescence mm -hmm. element to it so it's easier to scan. Mm -hmm. So when, when, when this uh, antibody attaches to the protein, it glows and it's easier for doctors to see where in the brain the disease is, is being uh, developed. Revolutionary. And the pathology of Alzheimer's, it's so cruel um, to victims and this, this would really affect a lot of people. Not only people struggling with Alzheimer's, but caregivers, you know, people responsible, family members who have to watch someone literally waste away and not know who they are. This, this has the potential to change a lot of lives. And you know, 15 years old, what a slacker! I'm, I'm just no, <laughs> it, it, and it makes me wonder. 15. Like, there's there's some people yeah, around the world. There are people around the world that are so advanced in, right. in science and in math and and in tech that that we need to keep up because they're coming up with all these discoveries. And I don't see the American kids coming up. And and you know, we need to put more effort in math and mm -hmm. science so these kids they have a chance. Because I know that there's very talented kids that that could be developing stuff like that in the states. Mm -hmm. Well, this, this study that they're doing, this Trojan horse study, it is preliminary, but, um, you know, kudos to Critton for, for doing this at 15 years old, and let's hope that we see more advanced, advanced medicine, advanced progression within Alzheimer's. We'd love to know what you think about this story, about this young boy doing this remarkable, remarkable discovery. Please log on, post your comments below. While you're at it, be sure to check out the rest of our channel and subscribe to the Lib TV 2 for more.